I just wanted to do a quick update uh, on the problem I was having um, setting the table um, to the arm. I was fighting the cantilever and I was at my wits end trying to come up with an idea how to uh, overcome that cantilever problem. I was going to drill a hole and put in an extra bolt. But then a uh, viewer subscriber, Mark Lewis, uh, came up with an absolutely brilliant idea. Um, and I just finished up setting the table. Uh, took all of maybe 30 minutes uh, to gather up the things I needed and to set the table to the arm. Let me show you Mark's idea. It is really very simple. Um, Mark suggested that I add two boards to the top of the table that can lever back here over the top of the bolts. Let me zoom that in a little bit so uh, maybe it's a little bit more clear. Uh, so this board, there's another one just on the other side, on the other end of the table, that's exactly the same, cut from the same board, the same thickness. This is a factory piece of wood that came from a piece of furniture. Uh, I checked it uh, for flatness and straightness on the top of my, radio, or top of my table saw, uh, which I assume is pretty flat and there was no light. So I know these two boards are flat. I screwed them down to my wood table, uh, good and tight, uh, drilled extra, extra big holes in this board so that it would pull it down tight without, you know, the threads interfering how they do sometimes. And then I set the, I set the, the arbor directly over, over the bolt back here and then slid this under and adjusted the table where this piece of metal just rubbed on that arbor. Okay, well, actually I adjusted the arm down until it just rubbed on that arbor or on that piece of metal. Then I swung it around to the other side, uh, which would be over here. Uh, I swung it around to the other side. I loosened the bolt. I swung the arm clear around to this side, all right? and put that, that the arbor directly over the bolt that's right down here. And then slid this under until it felt exactly the same as that side. I tightened this bolt. Now, before I started, I loosened all the front bolts. There are three, uh, one for the middle rail, one for the both end rails. I loosened those and I loosened the back bolt on the center rail right here, all right? So at this point, now only two of those are tight, all right? So uh, these are adjusted to each other. Then I took a piece of plywood that I also checked for straight on my table saw, put it across here, took an identical piece of that furniture leg and slid it underneath there and it rubs. It just barely rubs. So the center of this, board, the center of this table is correct, all right? Then I swung the arm out on both edges here as far as it would come along this rail, okay, along this uh, board that we'd installed there. Tightened it up and then set this table by this bolt that's directly underneath the arbor. I set it the same as this bolt or that, yeah, that bolt and that anchor and that and this anchor. So all these three anchors. Then it was just a simple matter. Bear in mind, I locked this up. Uh, I locked the arm each time uh, between measurements. Okay. Swung it over here. Locked the arm. Adjust that one exactly the same. Swung this out of the way. Uh, well, of course, I took the time to tighten the bolts. It goes a little faster than that. Put my straight edge on, did the, whoop, upside down, did the rub test, uh, did the rub test right on the money. So the table is straight and flat, so I didn't have to do any, any screwing around with the, with the middle bracket to straighten it. So then, now I got that bolt, the two back bolts are tight, the two front bolts are tight, 
they're adjusted to each other. The center is straight. I simply, I simply tighten this bolt in the center and the center bolt out towards the front. Done. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mark. You, you, you saved me a lot of frustration that I was, I've been fighting that. Uh, I've been fighting that for, uh, and worrying over it for a couple of weeks at least. Uh, and so now it is adjusted. Uh, I am very, very pleased with it now. Uh, and it was, it was such a simple solution. And mo most solutions, uh, most solutions are pretty darn simple. They're not as, you know, we, we, we make them compli complicated sometimes, they're more complicated than we need to. The other thing that happened was, uh, I had purchased a new blade with a wider curve. Uh, I'll, do a, I'll do a review on it, uh, on that blade, uh, maybe next video. And so I cut a new kerf in, but before I cut the new kerf in, I patched the old kerf uh, with uh, epoxy, uh, let it set, put in a new kerf. Uh, well, I mean, first, first I adjusted the saw, uh, readjusted the saw and tested it to make sure it was absolutely square to the fence. And then I patched it, then I cut in a fresh kerf. And a couple of days later, I come back, I, I've been using the saw uh, for nothing serious. Mostly I was just cutting up scraps and getting rid of them, cutting them into small enough pieces uh, for, the, for, a, for a trash sack to go into. And I'm looking at my kerf in the table and it has grown uh, to about a quarter inch wide and it's only an eighth inch blade. I'm going, what in the world is happening? So I readjusted the arm back here with these adjustments. And, and then I was sit sitting in the living room after I readjusted everything, I'm going, I'm thinking to myself, why did it do it in the first place? And what's gonna keep it from happening again? And it occurred to me, I had not tightened those brass tipped Allen screws that hold these adjustment screws in place. That's why it slipped out. So it's very, it's very important. It's a rookie mistake, but it's very important uh, that those Allen screws be tightened after you make your adjustments. Uh, well, that's it for the video. I, I hope uh, uh, the video was uh, uh, oh, entertaining and uh, uh, maybe interesting and informative. And again, I want to thank Mark Lewis for the fantastic idea that I am very pleased to steal and use for my own. Thanks again.